Hi and welcome to this lecture. Let's get something done. So now I just search for Visual Studio. There are Mac Xcode, but I don't have a Mac, so I don't really know anything about Macs. I'm very sorry about that. Now I just click on New Project. Then go to Visual C++ and click Win32 Console Application. And just give it a name. I'll just call mine A, or I'll call mine Section underscore can't type section underscore x now just click ok now click next and make sure to untick these because if you don't there will probably be a bug so now click finish and it will create your project and now just go into your int main just make sure there's a little white space and before you do anything you'll want to log out something to the console wait so what you'll want to do is press hash include and then between chevrons io stream. Make sure to spell that correctly or it won't work. Now in your int main, write std colon colon c out. Then write those chevrons again to to the right. Then between brackets, just write hello world exclamation mark and then a semicolon now just click ctrl and f5 and it will say this project is out of date would you like to build it click yes now it's quickly loading and creating our code and as you can see what we typed here hello world came here and to prove that it's actually what we typed here let's just quickly write Hello world, I am a computer. Now just click Ctrl S to save, a Ctrl plus F5 to run it. And as you can see, it says hello world, I am a computer. Then press any key to continue. This looks rather ugly, doesn't hit on one line. So if you just see this, it's on one line. What if we would want this on two lines? Well, there are two ways to do this. The first line is using escape characters, which is this slash, make sure it's this one, N. So let's save this, and let's see what this does. As you can see, it's now on a new line. This space is here, so I'll quickly delete that one. So that's deleted. Let's quickly run again. And as you can see, it's now on two lines, and now you've got this thing here. Let's solve that by using the second way. So, what I normally do is, if it's like this, you just want it in one std colon colon c out, just use the slash n. But if you're going on to another line of code, I would recommend using left chevron, left chevron, then std colon colon, end l. So let's try to run that again. As you can see, this also now has a new line. So I think this wraps it up. I would just try changing this around a little, experimenting with it. I hope to see you in the next lecture.